What caught our eye yesterday, though, was uh, David Einhorn uh, having a really, really rough uh, quarter last quarter. Um, what I found interesting is, like, his thesis is that he wants to play value because right. of rising yields, right? Take a look at my Bloomberg here, and I have a chart that shows the correlation between the two. It pretty much holds up. So then why did he do so badly? I like that you go, like, nerd to nerd on yep. David oh, Einhorn. Oh, oh. That's really good. <laughs> um, I, I mean, look, he, what he said to his investors yesterday, and... and it's interesting, sort of going under the covers a little bit. The the reason people hear from Einhorn is because he has this publicly traded reinsurer. So he mm -hmm. goes out and, and gives people maybe a little more to the public than a normal hedge fund uh, manager would. You know, what he did say was last time we saw this sort of move was in 2000. What, last time we saw this poor performance for uh, Greenlight was back in 2000. And then it really came back for them, which meant the economy but it, it did could not be, do it, so well. It could be how he's positioned, though, because he's right. shorting growth stocks. Yeah. So he's right. shorting he's Amazon. He's got this bubble he's basket. He's shorting yeah. Netflix. That's very different than playing a correlation between value and yield. So I wonder how this is going to shake out for him. Well, we'll see. I mean, you know, we do seem to have a lot of big hedge fund managers lining up on different sides of how to play yeah. this, next, uh, this next cycle. And as we've talked about, this truly is where they earn their money. And there will be winners, there will be losers. We won't know what they are. It'll be interesting to see when the first quarter is through, given all the volatility that we've seen, how this starts to shake out a little bit.